Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I've got. Having a little walk around Aldi as you do. And I came across these. Now they're not new. But I haven't seen them and I haven't had them. And I do like corned beef. So I thought I'd get them and see what they're like. Three ready to eat puff pastry corn beef pasties. Corn beef potato and onion in golden puff pastry. There's a little traffic light system there, look. These were £1.75 for three. So if my maths are correct, it works out at 58 pence a pasty. So let's have a look at the packaging. Oh, I do like a pasty. I do like corned beef as well, love it. The little traffic light system there, amounts per so per pasty as sold, 418 calories. Let's have a look at the ingredients there. There's a few allergens in there, isn't there? We've got wheat and egg. Um, any more? Potato, 22%. Um, onion, 9%. Corned beef, 8%. So not a lot of corned beef, is there? Uh, more potato, really. It should be called potato sort of pasties. Uh, there is more nutritional, uh, nutritional information in depth if you want to have a look at that. Uh, 450 grams, little GB sticker there. Let's have a look at the directions for use. Remove all packaging, little bit of spiel about it there. Corned beef and beef with potato and onion in a puff pastry case. Oven. Can be eaten hot or cold. Fan 170, 20 to 25 minutes. Electric 190, 20 to 25 minutes. Gas 5, 20 to 25 minutes. And that is them. So we need to get them open and see what we have got. Let's have a look. See, you don't need scissors or anything. You can get straight in, however. Yeah, I'll take that as a, as a pass. A lot of pastry as well. A lot of pastry, but you can eat them hot or cold. I'm going to warm mine up. That, this is that look. Have a look at that. Got mine uh, cooking away now, or not cooking, warming through. I've done a, on the subject of corn beef, corn dog, as I like to call it, I've done a comparison of corn beef. Um, being the comparison playlist and I've also done uh, corned beef hash as well from I think that was from Aldi proper winter food cold out there minus two this morning I was at the car running and scraping at the same time <laughs> with my dressing gown on in the street I wonder what the neighbours thought look at that silly old fool there Anyway, I'll bring you back in about another 10 minutes. It's ready, I hope. Well, I've got a th thermometer in there and it's up to eating temperature. I did it in the air fryer on the bake setting at 170 for 18 minutes. So it was about seven or eight minutes short of the time you would do it in that massive oven. So I'm gonna cut it in half now so we can have a look at it. Show you lovely, lovely people out there. It, let me see if I can get a bit of better light for you. This is that. Have a look in there. I'll um, I'll get a better shot for you. I'll pick it up, hopefully. So it's more potato, isn't it? 22% potato and 8% corned beef. And there's onion in there as well. But it looks pretty good. It looks full. I don't see much of an air gap. It's got it's it's crying out for brown sauce and I'm gonna try it as it is, but then I will try it with some brown sauce. What I'll do with this one, I'm gonna just take the lid off and I'm gonna show you what's inside because it's okay me cutting it in half. <clears throat> but I'm gonna take the lid off and we're gonna see, we're gonna have a look, see what's inside. Oh it's 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 full. It's full look, I'm happy with that. It's it's yeah. It's not pulling the wool over our eyes, so that's okay, isn't it? 
Right, I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get into it now because it will be red hot. I'll put that little lid back on, <laughs> and then I'll get into that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be civil, and I'm gonna use me. Um, can you see okay there? Yeah, I'm gonna use me my knife and fork. I don't know why I'm being civil. Um, it's because well I don't know why. Well, in fact I'm not. Let's not mess about. My hands are clean. I'm going to get into it now. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It does help and it is free. And let me know if you've had these before and if you know of any other. I did my good deed of the day today in Iceland. There was um, a sort of, sort of middle of Iceland. It was sort of semi full. And I noticed there was a massive turkey crown, a frozen one. Someone had bought it, well, put it in the basket, walked halfway around and thought, I don't want this. Instead of putting it in the freezer, they just put it in a, a basket full of uh, ketchups. I said to the guy, luckily there's a guy on, on the freezer just right there. I said, excuse me, mate. I said, uh, someone's ditched this in here. He said, oh, thanks very much. He scurried off with it. Now, I don't know if he just put it back in the freezer with the rest of them. I don't know. <laughs> Should check it first. It might have defrosted. Could have been in there overnight. Anyway, enough waffling on. Let's get into this. Mmm. Mmm. It's tasty. It is dry, it's definitely dry, it does need a bit of slippage juice for it to get down the throat, i.e. some brown sauce, which it will be getting in a minute. It's well seasoned, the pastry is nice and flaky. Um, you're getting the onion flavour through as well in the corned beef, but you, just, you need more corned beef, you do, you need more corned beef. It's pretty, it's pretty full though, I'll be honest. I'm going to get you another shot now. Look at that. You think I'll be able to do it? <laughs> Let's have a look. A lot of potato there, you can see. Corned beef sort of mixed in. Mmm, I like them, I do, I like them. 58p as well. It's an absolute 58 pence. I'm, I'm liking them, I really am liking them. I've got my cup of tea. Now, my, my choice of the, the brown sauce today is, is Bramwell's brown sauce. Now, what does that remind you of? HP, doesn't it? Aldi are doing what they do best. I did a brown sauce comparison, so I'm getting my way through them. I forgot, this must have been stashed at back, because... Um, is it still in date? Yeah, it's in date. It lasts for years, these, don't they? Let's be honest. I have them in the fridge for years. So I'm going to get a bit of brown sauce on there, a bit of slippage juice to help it go down. You, you definitely need that, like. You know, all the sauces are available. Mm. I've done a comparison between that and HP, and I tell you what, quah! Save yourself a lot of money with that one than the HP. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I know there'll be people now who just stick to HP. It's got to be HP, it's got to be HP. It doesn't have to be HP. I mean, it's your money you're spending at the end of the day. It's your money you're spending. That's all I'm saying. It's nice, I like it. Hmm. They're definitely a winner, them. I'll definitely buy them again. Apologising for talking with my mouth full. That's right, isn't it? Not open. Sometimes I say that. Never mind. I like them. I do. I like them. They're going to give me heartburn later, I can tell. Pastry always does. But I will be buying them again. They're a, they're a good... They're close to 10. They are for me. I mean, they're a 9 out of 10. If, they were, if there was more corned beef in for the 58p... Per, per pasty, there'd be, there'd be a 10. But they're, they're really good. I, I do enjoy them. I do, they're tasty. 
Yeah, I can't wait for this one, yeah. So I'm going to go live. I'm just going to get my hands in there now and get that sauce on there. I'm going live at Black Eyed Friday, 23rd of December, 8 o'clock if you want to join us, if you're in. Um, please uh, drop in, say hello. I'm going to have a few beers, a bit of a party. Mm. Mm. You know, you can ask me what you like. I'll try and answer them, answer the questions as honestly and truthfully as I can. Bit of a Q&A, a bit of a party. If you want a quiz, I'll put the question out there on the night. We can maybe do a quiz. We'll see how it goes. It's, it's Christmas. Let's just enjoy ourselves. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. And thanks for joining the membership. Uh, take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.